Supporters of President Trump, as well as his detractors, watch today's impeachment proceedings closely and, for some, a measure of alarm. Although Joe Biden nearly won Georgia back in November, Mr. Trump's supporters are sticking with him. 11 Alive's Doug Richards is at the Capitol with more. President Trump's supporters say, yes, they too were horrified by the attack on the Capitol last week. But to impeach him again? We've only had 45 presidents. We shouldn't be impeaching presidents. We should, we should let him go out on Wednesday. That's and, State uh, Senator Brandon Beach. This line, week, the Republican change, lost his the chairmanship the of the Senate Transportation uh, Committee, apparently as punishment for supporting efforts to overturn Georgia's November vote Absolutely. for Joe Biden. Republican Lieutenant Governor Jeff Duncan led the effort to strip Beach of the chairmanship. That was kind of petty politics that, you know, that uh, uh, was unnecessary. Republican State Senator Burt Jones also lost and his Robinson chairmanship and, uh, for the same that, reason. Uh, Jones Patrick, is still an us. unapologetic supporter well, of the president and says the violence at the Capitol last week wasn't Trump's fault. I support the president. I appreciate him for his service and uh, wish him the best uh, in the future. Do you think the president's hands were clean in this insurrection? You just wanting to get to that question, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, uh, you know, he, he didn't go in there. He didn't storm the Capitol himself. He didn't lead the charge, you know. We should let him go out on Wednesday and uh, he'll finish his term and uh, we should treat him with respect as an ex-president. We cannot just throw this uh, behind us. We've Democrat Calvin Smyrie is Georgia's longest serving lawmaker. He says the attack on the Capitol requires the strong message that impeachment sends. And we are living in perilous times and uh, it appears that uh, with the attack on our democracy, I, I don't think there's any recourse but to do what the uh, Congress is uh, proposing today. A number of Republicans we approached here did not want to talk about President Trump's impeachment. For many of them, it is a no-win question if they expect to face voters again in two years. Yeah.